Hey there guys, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from Other Half, and I believe they haven't brewed in a minute. I was actually a big fan of it uh, when it first came out, and this is Southern Hopalistic from Other Half. This is a 7.5% ABV IPA, uh, Southern Hopalistic, I assume it's brewed with um, Southern Hemisphere hops, and let's get a pour going. Now, come on guys, really? People can't pour without spilling? Again, did a pretty good job. I'm going to pat myself on the back on that one. Uh, <laughs> enough ego. Uh, haze for days. Look at that beautiful beer. Uh, beer comes in a light to medium gold color. Uh, just ridiculous, ridiculous haze. We're talking about like a treehouse to trillium kind of haze kind of going on. Actually, more like Hill Farms, I don't want to say. Um, yeah, but I guess Hill Farms that beer. Fluffy white head on that. Let's get the aroma. I should probably warm it up a little bit more. By the way, actually, this is like something that like I, you know some people recommend to warm up beer. Uh, but then I was also watching a. Um, episode of TV that involved like uh, sommeliers and a master sommelier actually said like don't grip your glass because what happens is that anything that you touch anything that is, is smell uh, from your hand sort of transfers here and then like you know it sort of affects your aroma because like your hand is like you know right there and it sort of sticks onto the glass actually pretty interesting because I've noticed it too if like your hand is like pretty intense with aroma from like you know anything like you know you have stuff on it um, it will affect the aroma even if you're trying to stick out of the glass so Conflicting kind of uh, advice, but let's dig in the beer. Dank for days, yeah. I mean, it's uh, very much a uh, other half beer. Not as aggressive as some of them. It's, it has a little bit of soft quality, but I'm thinking a lot of like uh, green herbaceous qualities. Again, that kind of like basil, herbs, fresh herbs. Um, yeah, minty kind of quality. Um, you know, throw it all in. Thyme, sage, uh, all, all, the, all those... Uh, bright and green herbs leafy kind of qualities as well maybe some grass a little bit of a um, it's kind of like a sweet bready malt in there as well cheers um as for fruit qualities i'm looking for them you know mostly the herbs cheers very drinkable uh for some five that's the meaty thing i noticed um yeah, it's just a nice, really rounded IPA, but then it does sort of attack with that kind of like dank kind of bitterness that um, other half has. Um, definitely hits on that back end. Mm. So follows with those wonderful kind of like, like it's not as aggressive as some of the other half beers. It doesn't really pop at it to, at you. Instead, it drinks like a session. It's not really a session IPA. It's like sort of like drinks more like a pale. There you go, uh, more like a pale with a little bit more subdued kind of hop quality. Um, again, follows with that kind of like just tons of like um, herbaceous notes. As I wait more on the bitterness, I'm also getting this kind of like I call it like a bitter green. So like un um, undive kale, just like really bitter uh, vegetables. Up front, you get a little bit of juicy quality. Um, you get this a uh, little bit of like a little bit of grape quality, a little bit of like a juicy white grape. Um, Hints of citrus, possibly. What fruit am I thinking of? Um, a nice and subtle fruit. Um, maybe something like a, a, a less less sweet kind of stone fruit. So we're talking about something like a uh, maybe a white plum, uh, something like that. A green plum, sorry. Yeah, there you go. A green plum. Hints of sweetness. Uh, you get a little bit of um, breadiness and sweetness in the middle, but then it transitions on to a really nice uh, dry finish. Not as dank and in as intense as uh, some of the other half beers. Really nice. Just crushable, crushable, crushable. And it really has, again, those really nice like herb notes, a, a little bit of like grass. Some wonderful herb notes going on. Uh, a little bit of pine uh, sticking on the bitterness. And then you get a little theme of just like hints of uh, fruit qualities again a little bit of white grape a little bit of stone uh, stone fruit just like hinting through uh, not not that big kind of juiciness that kind of big kind of tropical quality um, even maybe a touch of melon maybe that maybe that's what i was looking for so maybe a touch of like um cantaloupe yeah definitely a, a green uh cantaloupe kind of um, quality on this one again subtle sweetness uh very nice stuff i'm getting i'm getting personally a little tired of the uh, other half beers uh getting you know big fan of the grim and the uh threes uh, sometimes these other half beers to me can be very bitter and dank again the word dank i use all the time for these beers this one's a little bit more strained uh has a look, nice balance to it as for rating i'm chugging this beer uh 7.5 percent 
Really nice stuff. One of their better beers. I'd say one of their most underrated beers. Arguably their most underrated beer. Uh, let's go with something like a... Really nice. 96 plus. 97 minus. Let's go with 97 minus. Uh, let's give Other Half some credit. 97 minus. Until next time, guys. Cheers. This is Other Half's Southern Hopalistic. Love it. Until next time, guys. Cheers.